Boneyard Garage here. Check out this old Billy Goat backpack blower I dug out from my father's house. It's got a Kawasaki two cycle engine. Turn around, take a look at the other side. Got a, like a white, almost like leather, I guess, straps and a white leather padding. And this is your throttle control right here. That, look at the linkage, it's pretty neat. It goes from the handle all the way over to there with linkage that goes all the way up to the barrel of the throttle instead of having a cable. That's pretty neat. Uh, here's the tag. I don't know what year it is. I had to even look up the year. Anybody knows? Put a leave me a comment. Got a six four zero sixty three. So it might be maybe a sixty three. That would make sense. But I'm not sure. It does pull over. I'm sure we're gonna have to take the carburetor apart. Uh, I don't know if we got any spark yet. Haven't did anything to it, but brought it home. And wonder where the kill switch is. This is your throttle here. Uh, yeah, I don't see no kill switch. Huh. I'll have to figure that out. That's pretty neat. I have an old Echo also. Which, uh, I don't have it here. It's up in the other, the other storage. It's an older one. I use it like every time I cut my grass. The old Echo. So Weird. I'm just trying to look to see how I... Uh, how you turn it off. The kill switch is. Maybe you just idle it down and it, it dies. I don't know. But, uh, okay. Alright, I'm going to just take this spark plug out for now. And uh, see if we got any spark. echo I was talking about that I have and this thing you can tell I haven't really cleaned it I just use it I mean, it starts every time uh, and it runs pretty good I'm not sure the year of this one either there's the uh, model number maybe this one's a 66 not sure or 63 I don't know I don't know how to read them but uh yeah, this thing starts up every time. I use it every time I cut my grass. Okay, let's get back to the uh, Billy Goat one. Okay, back on the Billy Goat. I got the plug out. And i try to do this with one hand. Let me set the camera up. See if you can see if it has any, any spark. It does. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get it closer. That's a strong spot. Okay, so let's uh, get the camera set up here. Put the plug back in. We're going to give it a shot of uh, starting fluid down the uh, carburetor and see if we can get a pop out of it. And if we do... Then I'll take that carburetor off and see what kind of shape it's in. Foam filter. Looks like someone made a homemade one. Took one and cut it. That was probably my father. Oh, 
Alright, let's see, choke is. Choke is up. Full throttle. Oh, look at the oil coming out of the copper. <coughs> Got compression. You wanted to go. All right. So uh, I'm gonna uh, get this carburetor off. I'll uh, stop the camera for that. All it is is take throttle linkage off, and you got it's like two ten millimeter nuts right there. I'll take the carburetor off, take it apart, and see what it looks like. So we got the carburetor off and the fuel where the fuel line goes, the whole fitting come out of the side of the carburetor. So hopefully when I put that back together it don't leak, but we'll see. So I'm gonna get this carburetor up on a bench and get it Start taking it apart and we'll see what it looks like inside. Oh, I didn't mention the gas tank. Uh, didn't even really look in here yet. But it's pretty clean. A little bit of junk down there. I'll see if I can blow out. A little screen that goes in here. There's the tubes for it. Okay, we'll get this carburetor apart. Okay, so we have the carburetor here. I'm going to take this air filter cover off first. Just got two screws in there. Take those out. Looks like a little motorcycle carburetor. Okay, we got that off there. Your choke. There's your uh, throttle barrel in there. Let's see if we can loosen that up. Stuck a little bit here. A little WD-40 on here. That's supposed to swivel from the nut into the barrel here. Give it a little, lube it up a little bit. Okay, I gotta loosen this nut up here, maybe. I'm supposed to spin on that. Okay. Bear with me. I do this without breaking anything. I don't know where you would find parts for this. You just don't run, we'll just junk it. I think it'd be cool if we can get it going. I really think I was supposed to loosen that top nut off. 
There we go. I get that all loose before I go and put it back on. Okay, that's that. Set that aside. Two screws on the top of the carburetor bowl. Take those out. A lot of sludge in there. It's old oil. Looks like oil. Here's your float, which works pretty neat. I remember seeing one of these before. And what it does, you got this little brass fork right there. So when it floats down, that brass is weighted. And then when the gas fills up, it hits the fork on the right here sorry float will come up and hit that and shut the gas off all in all it doesn't look that bad it's just a lot of old oil in there so let's see if we can get this uh, pin out for the needle and seat breaking it. All right, well, I'm going to clean up around that for now until I figure out how it comes out. I guess I could try to tap it with a little hammer, but we'll get back to that. See if we can get this main jet out. That came loose. Hate working with gloves on, but this old shellacky gas stinks. That's it, other than a needle and seat. So uh, I'm going to just set this in the vise a little bit. I'm going to try to spin the camera. And I'm going to try very lightly tap that pin out. If it will come, great. If not, we'll let it be. There it goes, came right out. Don't want to lose it. So. Right here, I'm gonna get that pin. Pin.
glad I took it out because it is pretty nasty. So, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this cleaned up. And then we'll get it back together the same way we took it apart. And uh, we'll get it back on the machine. So, okay, I'll be so back. I cleaned the carburetor, but I don't have very high hopes for it. Because I dropped the high-speed jet and I can't find it anywhere. I looked all over. So I kind of made a high-speed jet. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. So I got gas in it. We got a little leak by the pet cock here. We just put a paper towel in there. And uh see if we can get it to do anything. Hard to hold it. I heard something. I think that's because of that jet so uh, at least we got it to start okay guys that's it for now uh, I'm gonna look around for this jet some more see if I can find it okay so Mrs. Boneyard came out and she found the jet can they see that camera lady anyway she found so I took the carburetor apart. Come back over here so we can see here. And I took the, the jet out. And now we're going to put it in. So I don't lose it again. Hopefully I didn't mess the threads up. Which I don't think I did. I had a plastic tube in there to try to restrict that hole a little bit. And it did run. But not right. So I'm going to put that jet in there. That back in a collaboration. I get all done with this thing, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Snug that up. Snug that up. Put the float back on. Put the float bowl back on. And I gotta come on the other side. Tighten up these screws. Got a long enough screwdriver. I like to stay away from my work a little bit. Still got a little leak in the gas tank pet cop.
driving up now. This is Boneyard, I found that jet. Okay, we're gonna button it up and then I'll be back. Okay, so we have it all buttoned up, got the air filter back on it. I did fix that uh, fuel leak that fitting right here was loose, so I tightened that up and that fixed the leak so it's not leaking no more. Uh, it does run very well, revs up now. Can't believe she found that jet. I looked for about an hour. She came out and found it. That's the way it, way it works. But it's a pretty cool machine. I put the uh, put the uh, tube on it. These are your straps. You gotta reattach this one on the bottom. Just, uh, just came off, goes right in that hole down there, so. I have to bend that S hook a little bit, that goes like that. So, yeah. I don't want to start it again, because it's about 9 o'clock at night. I don't want to uh, be revving it out here. The neighbors are trying to relax. So I'll, I'll shoot a little video of it uh, tomorrow. I'll take it out and and uh, see if I can blow a little leaves or grass around with it. So if anybody can let me know what year they think it is, give me some information on it. I would appreciate it. Shot of that. Model number, if you can see it. Model number 64063. I'll clean it up tomorrow. Pretty cool little machine. That engine looks pretty neat. Okay, that's it for this one. For now, until you see it another time when I'm using it. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up. That will give you notifications when I post videos. I haven't got too many videos out lately. I've been extremely busy with work. So I've been just trying to pound stuff out and uh which is going good okay guys that's it for this one boneyards out you guys have a good night and stay safe